Welcome back to Web Cafe AI. We do daily chat GBT and AI videos for your personal and business life. Today, we're going to be looking at the automation usage calculator and seeing how we can leverage that. If you're not familiar with the automation usage calculator, essentially what this is going to allow us to do is that for any AI automation that we create, not only are we going to be able to itemize the cost at scale, but also just get a general idea of maybe more effective ways we can restructure our AI automations to get more cost effective solutions. This AI automation calculator can be found on our marketplace here at Web Cafe AI, where we sell pre-built AI automation solutions, such as AI YouTube Tweet Alert, an AI Yelp Responder, AI Form Responder, and so on. Once you reach our front page of our marketplace, just simply go to our AI usage calculator here, and we'll be able to start using it right away. So in today's video, we're going to look at our Shopify Zap that we created in our Road to 5000 apps in Zapier. This was from our Shopify tutorial. And essentially what we're going to do right now is we're going to calculate the cost for us to run this at scale. All right, let's go ahead and begin. So the first thing that we need to take account for is how many tasks are going to be used within the AI automation itself. If we look at this flow here, we see that there are five steps, but we don't take into account the trigger. Therefore, a very simple way and a rule of thumb when deciding how many tasks are associated with a flow is all you need to do is come down to this number right here and minus one. Therefore, since there are five blocks here, we're going to do that there's only four tasks that are going to be used in this because we do not count the trigger. All right, so let's go ahead and say number of tasks per run would be four. Now, the next thing that we need to calculate is what is our cost per task, which essentially comes down to this formula right here, which is going to be the plan cost divided by the total number of tasks. In order to find this out, simply go to Zapier's plans of pricing, figure out whatever plan that you're currently on. So for example, let's go to monthly here. And if I upped it to 5,000, basically that would mean that every month I'm gonna be paying Zapier $133.50. So let me write that down, $30.50. And then what I wanna do is divide that by 5,000 tasks. This is all contextual. So whatever plan you're personally on, that is gonna be your cost per zap task. For example, let's say you're paying monthly and you're on the starter, you would simply do 29.99 divided by 750 task. Let's go ahead and use a calculator here. We're gonna type in 133.50 cents divided by 5,000 equals a grand sum of basically 0 0.026 cents per task. And then over here, we can simply input 0 0.0267. Now we have the cost per Zapier task. We have the number of tasks in that specific run. Let's go ahead and figure out how many tokens are going to be used within that run. Now for your reference, in order to find up to date information when it comes to token pricing and come over to any of our product pages here, we up to date this depending on whatever is happening with OpenAI's backend. And as you see here for GBT 3.5 for a thousand tokens, it costs around 0 0.002 cents. And then for GBT 4, it costs around 0 0.06. Therefore, it is really imperative that you understand when to use a 3.5 block and a 4 block because GBT 4 is around 2,900% higher in cost relative to gbt 3.5 all right perfect so now that we know that in this context we're using two gbt4 blocks so we're going to keep our model and our calculator at gbt4 but your next question here which is probably the most important question is okay well when i click on a block here and i try to find the token usage sometimes i run into issues so let's go ahead and edit this real quick this is where we're going to have to jump into the draft mode here go ahead and click it and sometimes if you obviously debugged and tested your blocks multiple times, if you come all the way down here, it will have a ridiculously high number being used here. So for example, for token used, it could be like 4,000. And you might be thinking to yourself, that's not possible. There's no way in one run that this costed that many tokens. So all we need to do in order to ensure that we know a general or a good estimate for each run is simply take the block that you want to debug, duplicate it, once it has been duplicated here, I want you to click it again. I want you to retest it. But before you retest it, let's go to the memory key here, add a random string of numbers. This is gonna clear the UI or the, the backend chat that it has. And we're gonna go ahead and continue here. And sorry, we're actually gonna go back. We're gonna hit retest action. Then once you retest the action, since it's in a new memory key, this is gonna be the first run in that memory key. Therefore, the output is gonna be exactly what we're looking for here, which it looks like the tokens used for this specific block is only 65. Write that down somewhere. From here, you can go ahead and delete this. 
move over to our product description block. Let's do the same thing. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate this. Then we're gonna simply go to action. We're going to our memory key here, add some numbers in order to refresh the memory key. We're gonna hit continue here. We're going to retest this action. It's very important that you duplicate and start with a different memory key here. Cause if you really are working on an AI automation and you run it multiple times or you debugged it a lot, you're not gonna get accurate token usage amounts and you're probably gonna get an astronomically high number per run when that is not the true number that is associated with that GBT block here. So we're gonna go ahead and test this action again and see how many tokens are used. Perfect, so we scroll down here and we see that in this run, only 70 tokens were used. Perfect, so we got our two tokens amounts here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this block because it's not necessary anymore. And in total, we got 65 plus 70, so we're looking at 135 in token usage per run. Come back to our automation calculator here. We're gonna type in 135, and perfect. We have officially created the inputs that are needed in order for this to work. So we're gonna hit calculate here, and as you see, for a single run, it's gonna cost us around 11 cents. AI cost is gonna be one, and then Zapier cost is gonna be 11 cents. So it seems like in this context, the AI cost is so low that it's probably more decimals than one cents, but it just rounded all the way up to one. For example, if we move all the way up to 100 runs, so at scale, if this Zapier task was gonna run 100 times based off our model plan, based off the GPT model, essentially it will cost us $11.49. The AI cost associated with that would be 89 cents and the Zapier cost associated with that would be $10.68. Feel free to use that AI automation calculator for your own flows and understanding at scale the cost associated with every single one of your AI automation flows. But take into account, we have a ton of pre-built AI automation flows for you to use specifically for your business or clients' businesses. So we went ahead and jumped into one of these sections here. Let's just say we go to the AI Yelp business responder. You will see that we have already calculated the amount of tasks associated with that flow and also the expected amount of open AI token usage with the associated GBT model. You can find that store right down there. But without further ado, if you felt like you learned something, make sure to like the video. It's completely free and it helps us here at Web Cafe AI. If you want to learn more about AI, ChatGPT, and automation, check out the playlist at the end of this video as we're showing all 5,000 apps found on Zapier's backend and seeing how AI can integrate with every single one. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.